Hi folks, in this video I'll be joined by the programmable robot head Obot who's going to help me answer some questions. That's right, you reached out to people on social media who have an interest in STEM and robotics, asking them what they would like to know about me. You can ask me anything. I'm an open book. Now, I should say at this point that all of Obot's responses are programmed by me. It's not going to start talking and lets us program to do so. Thanks for that. I might not talk at all if you're going to be sassy with me. I should also thank Robocube at this point for sending me Obot to take a look at. And if you'd like your own, I've put a link to the website in the description. So the first question is from Liger, who would like to know, where did you get the name Obot? The team who designed me brainstormed names and liked Obot best as it has an element of surprise in it. It's also a name that hadn't been used by anyone else so I can be found easily in web searches. Okay, thank you. Next question, also from Liger. Does Obot speak? I think we know the answer to that one. And if so, what does it talk about? As you've already heard, I do talk. And I can listen too, so I can be programmed to respond to what someone is saying. I can also be programmed to tell the time, talk about the weather where you are and read Wikipedia pages. Ah, very good. I could tell you were built in the UK, since you have the ability to talk about the weather. Now Liger has also asked, what else is needed to operate Obot? You'll need to connect me to a computer. I can be programmed with the Obot app for Windows, with Scratch for Windows, Mac OS or Chromebook or with Python for Windows, Mac OS or Raspberry Pi. Wow, sounds good. We have a question from somebody else now. Greek asks, how does the robot work? Well, I move about using seven servo motors. Two motors move my mouth, three motors move my eyes and eyelids and two motors move my head. The real magic is in the software which can be used to program my movements as well as what I am saying. Okay, Brain PhD asks, what is Obot for? I'm designed to be programmed by children aged 7 and over. I support speech generation, obviously, and speech recognition, and I can be used to help people learn about computing. If you choose to buy me in kit form then you'll also learn about how I work and how servo motors can create different types of movement. Okay, that's very different to how I work. We have another question from Brain PhD who would like to know, how do you teach with Obot? So, I can be used in school or at home to help you learn programming. There's plenty of help online at the Obot website including a one-hour course to help you learn the Obot app, a series of projects for you to work on and a scheme of work with 24 lesson plans developed for Key Stage 2 learners. There's also the Obiverse where you can download example programs from other Obot users, among other things. Good stuff. It certainly sounds like there's lots of support available then. Here's another question. Old Cheese Legend asks, how long did you take to build it? Surely that's a question for you. How long did you take to build me? Well, I didn't actually build you since you were an assembled version. So I guess you were made in the Obot factory in Gloucestershire. If someone does want to buy the kit version, then they can expect to take an hour or more to build their robot. Old Cheese Legend also wants to know, how can you be improved? I can be upgraded in several ways. I can be fitted with a camera so that I can see you and react to you. I can also be fitted with additional sensors so that I can detect when I'm touched, when I'm moved or how bright the light is in the room. I can also be fitted with illuminating eyes. My goodness, I wish my eyes did that. And no amount of carrots seems to make any difference. Julia has asked us, what level of coding experience do you need in order to use Obot? Luckily, users don't need any experience at all. Since I can be programmed in a variety of ways from block programming to Python, I'll keep you occupied for a long, long time. Right, I'll also have to try programming you in Python then. Julia would also like to know, why does it have to look at us like that? That sounds a bit cheeky to me. I'm sure I don't know what she means. As you learn how to program me, you can make me smile, frown, or look surprised. You can also change my voice since the Obot app uses the Windows text-to-speech system, 
so you can change my personality however you like. Okay, my wife says my personality changes too. Although that's mainly when I'm tired or hungry. On to the next question. Short Rib Mama has asked, what's the cost of the Obot? Right now, you can pick up an Obot for £214.99 from RoboCube for the fully assembled version or £249.99 for the assembled version with glowing eyes, just like me. I'll leave a link in the description so that you can take a look at what's available, including the accessories. Alright, you'll put a link in the description, will you? I can see me having to do that as well, like everything else around here. Anyway, I was just thinking, I've not given you a name. What do you think I should call you? I know. Why don't you ask your viewers to come up with a name and you can decide which one you like the most? Or, better yet, you could program me to pick one at random and I'll say it in the next video. Sounds like a plan. If you have any suggestions, then leave them in the comment section and if you have any other questions about Obot, then we can both answer them in a future video. Talking of future videos, I'll be making some showing how to fit the accessories, customize how your robot looks and sounds, and some tips on programming. If you found this video helpful then remember to hit the like button as it'll really help us grow the channel and bring you more awesome content like this. Now, that actually was some help to me. Thank you. See you next time.